Good morning and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to the next series of the moving vlog. Today we are going to start decorating the living room. So we went to B&Q yesterday, picked up the paint, picked up the panelling, I'll show you all that a bit later and we're going to make a start on it today. I've been excited. I have been excited. So we're going to quickly take Bonnie on a walk. Just a quick walk around the block. We also need to pop to screw fits because I ordered a collection of a mitosaur and a bench for the mitosaur. Because last time when we did any type of, like when we did the dado rails in the hallway and when we did the flooring, we did it very manually and we only had a circular saw, not a mitosaur, so we couldn't do any of the angles or any of the corners. So I did think we could do it with the hand saw, but I want to make it perfect and it's very, very hard to get it perfect when you're cutting things yourself and doing it manually so we've ordered a mitre saw where you can cut it at a 45 degree angle so we're going to collect that from screw fix as well and then i think my plan for today is i need to sand down the bits where i filled the walls in with the polyfiller around there so where the tv unit used to be and also where the curtain poles used to be and then we're going to start painting so i'll see you soon right i have eaten lunch i was absolutely starving and I have sanded down where I filled the walls in. So I've sanded where the TV unit was and with the TV bracket and then also sanded down where the curtain pole was as well. Now, we're gonna get ready for painting. So, let me, hold on. Let's sit down for one second. Okay, right, so I've put you on the tripod for a second because we've got a little bit of a honesty chat here that we've got to have. And you know me, I'm always honest and transparent. So, as you'll know, we've been trying out different paints and it's not that dramatic. I made that way, way more dramatic than what it's even gonna be. But you know that we've been trying out paints for the living room in the hallway and we sort of landed on some ferro and ball colors. Now, we went to B&Q yesterday and we were standing there looking at the ferro and ball pots and they didn't have any of the big pots. They only had the 2.5 liters, which I think we would have had to get like two pots of each color so we would needed like four pots to do this room in here and the ferro and ball paints were right next to the valspar paint mixing service so i said to wade just out of curiosity should we go and see what the color match is like on the ferro and ball colors that we want because we wanted um a downpipe and then also breaking news wade changed his mind on the pointing and he wanted drop cloth so he wanted both drop cloth and downpipe in the living room. So we went to the Valspar mixing service and just asked out of curiosity, what is the color match like for those two colors? And they were very, very good. So I think downpipe was, she said the closest to zero is the better the match. So downpipe was like 0 0.01 and then drop cloth was like 0 0.08. So they were both less than the 10% and they don't normally mix anything if it's a different like, colour more than 10% so it was a very good colour match so we thought about it thought that if the colour match was that good and I have used the Valspar paint before in my walk-in wardrobe room and I do quite like it should we go for that and we went for it so we've not gone for the furrow and ball but we've gone for a colour match from the Valspar so we ended up getting two of the big five litres pots and we went for the best range of the Valspar because you can get, I think the top range is um, scrubbable, the second one is wipeable and the third one is nothing basically. Um, so we went with the scrubbable one, so we went for the best of the range because if you see our walls, bearing in mind we've lived here what, like eight months? The walls are grubby and it's really hard they, they're not it's not a scalable paint so i'm trying to wipe it and it's just taking paint off so i knew that we needed to get a better range of paint because the, the walls are grubby that's just us moving around also bonnie she likes to drag stuff around and touch stuff on the walls so it, it the, the walls are not looking great so i thought let's just get the scrubable one so we've ended up with two big liter two big five liters of scrubable paint from valspar that was my heart to heart to you to say we didn't end up going with the faro and ball but I think we're going to be okay because we did a little test of the paints and they are very 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 similar and um, I can show you actually where's the board yeah let me take you over to the board 
you're on the tripod so it might be a bit bumpy so this was the board that was holding up our TV before so just to give you an idea of the colours this is drop cloth from Farrow and Ball this bottom one that is the colour match from Valspar I mean they're basically the same and then this is downpipe from Farrow and Ball and this is the colour match now I would say this one looks slightly more bluey um it's not such a matte matte color i mean if our own beautiful is like pure matte this does have a slight sheen to it so it is different i think these two but we're still quite happy with the colors so these are our colors for our living room so my job now is getting you on a time lapse because i'm going to prep the wall so what i've decided to do is start with the top color so the top color is going to be drop cloth and i'm gonna so i need to tape up the ceiling and then i'm basically gonna take the color down halfway to where we think we're gonna have the dado roll and get that on and then because i thought i might as well do that before we get the dado roll because i've got to have to like make sure i don't get any paint in the dado roll and all that sort of stuff so i think it just makes it a lot easier because then we can always paint over the drop cloth paint with down cloth if i take it slightly below the center line that we want so that's my job for now so i'm gonna get myself some paint brushes, I'm going to get some tape up on the walls and you're going to go on a time lapse. up to about there round by the window and then round to about there but we are currently contemplating whether we definitely want the dark color so i've done a sorry battery died had to go and change it so yeah we're doing a test to see whether we just want to have it all in drop cloth or whether we want the dark color so this is the wall that i've done going a bit further with the drop cloth colour and then this is the side that's got a patch of downpipe on it just to see what we prefer. What do you think? I think let's go for it. For the dark? Mm -hmm. I think it's cool, it's nice together. I think just a bit higher though. Yeah, yeah, higher, I think that's too low. I think that's it. Yeah, it is too low. The only thing we have to take into account is the light switch. Just, just, just under the light switch, yeah. That yeah? Yeah. So carry on? Yeah. Why'd you go down there again? Oh, to show me. To show you if you preferred oh. to have a whole wall of drop cloth. No, I think they're separating, especially once you get a pen in the line. That looks smooth. Yeah. I think, you'll like it, you'll like it. I think it'll look nice. 
and I just think imagine we have like mirrors and like reflective surfaces and stuff so it still makes it look big and bright in here I think it's because we're used to having the white walls mm. but I think it looks nice it's a standard and like imagine all the bits we're gonna get we're gonna build that divider we're gonna have the mirrors we're gonna have the lights yeah yeah happy days happy days happy right. days i'm gonna get on a second coat then of this wall because what i thought we'll do is we'll do two coats on these walls here and then we'll move the furniture over so then we can do the two coats on those walls and then that'll be done wade's got to go out soon to go and get kiara so i just said before he leaves can he take the blinds off for me so i can paint in the recess yeah. of the window. Can we do that now so it's out of the way? Yeah. It's quite easy to clip it. Yeah, you easy. just clip it out and put it in. Yeah. So I'm going to crack on with painting. So I will show you at our next sort of progress update. All right, day one of painting. I am signing out. I feel like I've been painting for hours. And to be fair, I've done slightly more than what I thought I would do today. It does take a while. Um, but yeah, my brain's starting to go to mush now, but I want to show you progress for today. So, we have painted, and it's going to look quite dark in here now because the sun's setting. But we painted that wall all along there, painted all along there, all behind the TV, and then this is where I've stopped. So we basically just have this wall here to do, and then by the back doors. Um, obviously, the top colour has um had two coats up until about there so it's had two coats all the way around up until about there and then that section is only one coat and then the bottom all the way around has only had one coat as well there's miss miss bonnie who's been a very noisy moo moo this afternoon she keeps crying at the window so i think i'll take her for a walk in a second but yeah all the bottom needs to be painted again but what are we thinking of the color so far i'm not entirely sure on it to be honest i don't know and um, this was wade's sort of idea i was going to go with the white on the top it's hard to show you in this light because we've got the back doors open and then we've also got that window so there's just light everywhere which is then you can't see the colour. I mean, I love the top colour and I really love the contrast of the top colour to the ceiling, but I'm not entirely sure of the top colour to the bottom colour. But I think we're going to keep going with it. And I think when the panelling's on, it will look a lot different as well. But that is day one. Look, this is what I've heard all afternoon. Crying at me. What's wrong? What's wrong, Momo? I don't know why I just called her Mumu then. I never called her Mumu. What is wrong, Bon Bon? What's wrong, Bon Bon? Should we go for walkies? Should we have that? Or should we have dinner? Dinner? Maybe she wants dinner. <laughs> but I'll see you probably in a few days now, actually, because I'm quite busy this weekend. So I'll see you in a few days for day two of the lounge decorating. Good afternoon. It has been a few days since I picked up the camera. I have been doing some stuff. Well, not picked up the camera, but I picked it out for this particular video. I have been doing some bits in the living room, and now we're getting on to the next bit, which is the panelling. What I've been doing this week is just painting the top. So I wanted to do two coats on the top because then it's done then. And then we only did one coat on the bottom because we're going to do the panelling get that all corked and put on with the nail gun and then we can paint it all together which just makes it a little bit easier so i have been getting busy in here so all the top is now fully painted now and i do actually like the color now it's growing on me at first it was a bit like mm, but i do like it i think it's i think it's a nice color so we have set ourselves up a new little machine that we bought so when we was doing the panelling last time, not panelling, but like the dado rails in the hallway, we used a straight like circular saw. Terrible. <laughs> um, we decided to go and pick up a mitre saw because we thought it'd be a lot easier because it does the angles for you. And we just found it quite difficult to do them manually, like with the mitre block. So we picked up a mitre saw from Screwfix and a mitre saw stand. So we've just been setting that up here. So it should make life a million times easier because it's got the angles. So if you want to cut it at a 45 degree angle, which hopefully most corners are when you're doing the panelling, like the square picture panelling, we can cut it at the 45 degree angle and then it's done for us. We don't have to think about it or get out the handsaw or anything like that. So 
we picked this up from Screwfix, so it's quite a good price. I think we paid like £65 for the mitre saw, and then I think it was like another £60 for the stand. But we thought we might as well get them both together so that it's all nice and we're not having to like do this on the floor because Rookie DIYers here did do it on the floor previously when we had just the stationary circular saw. Um, it is Friday and it's the end of a working day, so if I look a bit rough, that's why. But this is the panelling that we picked up from B&Q the other day. So this is the dado row and then this is the panelling. So the dado row we went for was a very sort of classic style. I don't know if you can see it properly while it's in the package. It's look like that basically. So quite classic. And then we went for the astragal panelling, which we'll use, sorry if I'm saying that completely wrong, but that's what it says on there, astragal. And that is the particular measurement that we went for, just in case you're interested as it focuses. So those measurements there. And I just like the style of it because it's like the the middle bit is raised up, whereas you can get other ones where the middle bit, like the sides are raised or it's flat. You can get all different types. So we picked these ones up from b and I'm hoping that we got the right amount so that we can just finish it today. I'm saying today, obviously it's Friday evening, so I'm not sure how quickly or how slowly we're gonna get it done. So we'll see how it goes. But it means that once that's up, that I can just spend tomorrow like doing the cork and doing the painting and then at least that bit of the living room will be done and it will look a little bit more finished in here because we've sort of been living with it like this for the last week or so where it just looks a little bit messy so we've got the paneling the dado rail our new um mitre saw we're also going to be using a nail gun so we're using the ryobi range which i talked about before which is the one plus range where you just take the battery out of one and stick it in another we'll use the nail gun because we I was going to say silly, it's not even a word. We mistakenly used no more nails glue in the toilet downstairs, which I don't mind because I actually still really like it and that will stay up for us for a while. But it just means that when we do decide to, if we ever want to take that off, that we'll have to rip it off and then you might damage the plasterboard. So when we did the hallway, we used a nail gun and then we'll use a nail gun again in here because it means when you want to take it off, you can literally just pull it off and it just leaves a couple of nail holes and you can just fill them so it's a lot easier. So we use the nail gun and then I've also got my um, electric caulking gun as well from Mario B, so we'll use that. I think that's mostly the tools. Oh, and a level, pretty much. So that's all the tools that we're going to be using for this. So I'm going to find something to watch. I said to Wayne I might put on a bit of Moana because I've not seen it in a while and I can do a sing song. Ooh. Ways football music and I could just sing song while we're doing some paneling so another time lapse we'll see where we get to I bet you think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya
is actually getting towards evening now. It feels like one of those days where I feel like we've done a lot but not done a lot at the same time. I know what you mean. So we got up quite early. We went to the gym. I've decided to join up to Wade's gym so that we can go together because he was going to two separate gyms and he wanted to go to the one that had the swimming pool. So I said that I'll go and try it out today and then sign up to that one. So we went to the gym together and we did quite a long session, to be honest. I normally only go in for an hour. We was in there for like an hour and 40 minutes. It's not that busy. I think you just got a little bit more time to move around yeah. and work out what you want to do and stuff like, i was able to sort of do my thing around the spot for a while yeah wade's mental in the gym one day we'll take the the camera in and on the vlog and show the the gym sesh because wade's mental <laughs> he was like one minute i was on the leg press machine i looked over he was on the floor doing some sort of thing with the cables then he was up on the other side of the cables then you went to the row rowing bit of the cables but then he was hanging up from the bar all within the space of like one minute. It's quick. Power. Super. One rep. He doesn't, it always reminds me of that thing from my wife and kids. Euro training. The Euro training, yeah. <laughs> or is it Terry Crews? Mm. And he, when he's in white chips, he's got the whistle. <laughs> do, do, do. Indeed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we are now continuing with the living room. So yesterday we managed to get up the dado route across the entirety of the room apart from one section. It was really annoying that we didn't get enough just for one section. So we had to go to B&Q today. So we went to the gym, then we went to B&Q to get some more of the dado route. And we also got some more of the like picture paneling as well, just in case. Because we're going to do this a similar thing in the hallway. So we thought if we had extra, it's fine. And the dodo rolls only came in like a pack of five, so we couldn't get an individual one, so we had to get a pack of them, but we'll use them in the hallway, so that'll be all right. Then we went to Aldi, did a bit of a shop, came home, and then I just spent two hours folding clothes. I need to stop letting it pile up and actually fold them as we're drying them. Oh, help. No, I don't mind, because you do the washing a lot, so I don't mind folding the clothes and putting them away. But it just took me like two hours, so I need to try and do it a bit more often. But now we're here. Um, Wade has decided that he likes the white of the dado row. So we also picked up some white paint as well. So we're going to fill all the holes of where we use the nail gun and then um, cork it all and then paint them white. Hi, Bonnie. This is Bonnie's new toy, which she's already started to ruin. So we're going to get as much as we can up tonight. It's Saturday night and I actually need to get this video up for tomorrow morning. So this will probably be a part one. I'm thinking that there'll be a part two as well that will be coming because I don't imagine that we're going to get it all done tonight. So I think we'll get finish the dado row and then start with the panelling. If we can get the panelling up all of it, then great. Because once we work out the measurements, then you're just cutting the pieces. Yeah. Like multiple pieces in the same way. So I'm hoping that'll be a bit quicker. Well, yeah, we work it out on the long wall, the majority. So we did it from the long wall. So the long wall, from that side to that side, because then we just knock that out. And then whatever we've, we've worked out that way, we just do it on the small ones. So just do the two long ones first. Yeah. Well, we need to try and get two boxes on that wall there, the one behind the sofa. So if we do this one. I think do that one, and then that will tell you the measurements for the long the wall. And then the, obviously the small walls, you just do smaller squares. And then follow through. Yeah, so we're doing the same thing. Going to be using the panelling that I showed you yesterday. Going to cut it with a mitre saw and then put it up with a nail gun. And then hopefully get as much as we can. We're going to put on another film on Disney Plus to watch while we're doing it. And it's another film we're watching. We're going to watch Emperor's New Groove, which I've not watched in about... I've probably not watched it in like 15 years. I used to have it on video. VHS. Mm. But I don't think I've watched it in about 15 years, to be honest. Yeah, so it's probably going to be... Nothing like what I remember, but we watched Lilo and Stitch yesterday. Yeah, but when you do that, you actually sort of get back into your childhood and you actually watch it properly. Yeah, because you've not seen it in so long. I watched Lilo and Stitch yesterday properly. Yeah, which I've not seen probably again in like 15 years. She's mad I mental. I forgot he spoke. Who, Stitch? Yeah. <laughs> so when he spoke, I'll pop a up. When Stitch oh, was okay. speaking as well, 
it literally just reminded us so much of Bonnie. He was like on a, when he's like driving on, I can't remember what it was, on the car or the, it was on the rocket or something. And his tongue was like hanging out of the side of his mouth. It's literally Bonnie. Yeah, we were in the car and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Right, let's get to it. Alright, let's go. We've had a minor inconvenience. It's only a minor inconvenience. It's annoying. It, I know, it, it is slightly annoying, but it's fine. We had a little bit of an accident. Um, not entirely sure what happened, but we was cutting a piece of, I think it was like our first piece that we was cutting. Um, Wait in there. <laughs> it was like the first piece that we was cutting, and all of a sudden, there was like a bit of smoke, there was a spark, there was a loud noise, everyone got a bit scared. I think Bonnie was like, let me get out of this place. And she ran out into the garden um, and basically the cable has been cut. So not entirely sure how it happened, but the cable on the microsaw has been chopped. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure. I thought that we potentially could fix the cable. Now I am slightly on the more like safety side of things. So if it's that it's unsafe or there's something wrong with the microscope itself, then I'd rather just get another one. But we said that we'll phone my dad because um, he's like a tradesman. Tradesman, By yeah. Trade. He knows everything. So we phoned him and just asked him what he thinks and he says that you can fix the cable by getting a couple of things. So you could get a cable connector and then strip some of the wire and then connect it into the cable connector and then get some electrical tape to put it around it and then also get a new fuse for the plug because obviously that, the safety of the house then kicked in so then it um, basically cut all the electric of the house so all the fuses went down so we had to put the electric back on so the fuse might have blown the plug as well so we do have an option to fix the cable but we're not entirely sure whether we'd just prefer to get another mitre saw. I mean, we're not buying like professional grade ones, we're buying ones that people use on like DIY, so they're not the most expensive. Um, you could probably get a more expensive one, but I'm glad that we didn't now, because we would have cut the cable. Wade's very disappointed, he's, he's quite upset about it. But it's okay. I haven't got much fun the bed right now. No, it's fine. So we're on our way to B&Q to go and see what we want to do, whether we want to fix the cable or to buy a new one. We've got Bonnie in the back, so progress has been very slow, but we'll keep you up to date on what we decide to do. Right, so we got back to B&Q from back, we got back from B&Q just over an hour ago, and we've been cracking on. So we finished off all of the data rails now, and then we've moved on to the panelling. We're only going to get a bit done today, but I thought then that would be like our part one and then we can do our part two where we finish it all off and cork it and paint it and you'll see the, the finished product. But what I did was basically draw out a very rough sketch. So for the picture panelling, we're basically working it out like this. So we measured the wall behind the sofa, measured how wide it was, so 209 centimetres, and then we wanted everything to be eight centimetres away from the wall, so eight centimetres on the top, and the side, and the side, and also eight centimetres between them. So I've worked it out by using all the measurements how big each of the sort of squares need to be for the panelling. So we're going to do them 82 centimetres on the sort of downward lines, and then 92.5 centimetres on the top and the bottom, and then that's the sort of image just so that we know that they have to be angled like that to make a perfect sort of square. So that's the idea that we're going with. Wade is currently just cutting all the pieces now. So he's cut them all straight first because he thought that would be the easier thing to do. Cut them straight and then cut the angles on the side. So he's doing that right now. And then we're going to get those up with a nail gun. And then that will be almost our part one basically finished.
painting and panelling of the living room so in this one we've been able to paint the top in both the coats that it needs the bottoms had one coat obviously it's going to have the next coat once we've finished off all the panelling we've done the dado rails and we've just started on the sort of the picture panelling at the bottom and I think it looks lovely obviously imagine it once it's all painted in the same colour we are going to leave the rail in white but we're going to paint it in white at the moment it's just a primed colour and then we're going to paint the panelling in the same sort of grey that it's currently, like the bottom board's currently in at the moment. So, happy with it. Have you seen it, Bo? Yeah, I took a step back and looked at it. Like it? Yeah. I think it's nice. And it's worked perfectly. It literally comes in the middle of the radiator. Like the measurements are really good. That's why you need that measuring pen and paper. To work it out before you do it so no, happy with that um to be fair once we'd worked it out like the measurements it wasn't actually that bad was it to cut it and put it up uh, do you know it was i think it was quite exhausting through the first period of the our trials and error of cutting through the wires and yeah and, I, I also we had a very long day and then we didn't start it until five like five o'clock well, we had to run down the road as well and get some other stuff and come back and Again and, come back. and then we had lunch, all of that sort of stuff. So it was a long day, anyways. And then we started at like 5 pm, and then obviously we had a bit of a minor mishap of cutting the cable of the other machine. We decided to get another machine, so then we had to get that. So, I mean, all in all, we probably only spent actually a, only a couple of hours actually doing it. The rest was running around and doing other stuff. So, for the fact that we spent a few hours doing it, I think we're doing pretty well. And now we know how to do it. So, tomorrow. We're going to go to the gym again in the morning and then probably go for a swim. And then when we come back, we'll probably take Bonnie for... I think we'll take Bonnie for a walk, babe, at, like, lunchtime. Have food. And then do some in the daytime because I want to finish... Like, I want to shut off, at like, before six. Because you've got to go to work on Monday. Yeah? Yeah, Okay, cool. Also, randomly, I just got a parcel um, from Misguided, which I'm gonna open up in a second. Um, but they were, I don't know if you've heard, Misguided went into like, administration, they got taken over by someone else. So they was doing this crazy, like 90% off everything sale. So I got quite a few bits for like 20 pound. I took a bit of a gamble. I wasn't even sure if it's gonna come because people were saying that they're not really receiving their orders. But I took a gamble and got some bits. I mostly just got, um like t-shirts and sweatshirts and a couple of dresses and things like that so nothing special but i won't do a haul or anything because um it's all gone now pretty much um i think the sales even gone off because they've now been bought by someone else so i think they just liquidated all their stock and then got someone else to come in and take it over so i won't show a haul but that is the mess that is currently sitting on the sofa over there so i need to go and open all that up and sort all that out and clean it and then get this front room to a bit of normality for tonight and then we'll carry on for the part two of the living room. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also if you're liking the new vibe of the living room. It's getting more and more like towards what our sort of vision was. And subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.